So let's make some pan seared lamb chops with garlic potatoes and butter poached green beans. So the first thing you wanna do is dice about a half a cup of red onion. And the next thing you want to do is prep your green beans. So for the green beans, you just want to pop the ends off, put them in a bowl and set those to the side. Then you wanna take your marinated lamb chops. I will link the video to the lamb chop marinade below. Now you wanna go ahead and take a pan and do put that on high heat. So do not add any extra oils or butter to the pan. The lamb chops is rubbed with olive oil. As you can see here, it starts to melt off. You want to lay them like this to help cook evenly. Then after two to three minutes, you do want to flip them. We do want a very tender lamb chop and you want a bit of a char on it. And again, make sure your pan is very hot. After you get them to flip the first time, you do want to go ahead and add one tablespoon of garlic butter. I'm gonna do a video on how to create that. And you're gonna add one stem of rosemary. You wanna let those flavors cook together, make sure that the butter melts. Then you're gonna go ahead and create a pool. So this pool, is, it just helps you distribute the butter onto the lamb chops and you're basically gonna poach the lamb chops with that garlic rosemary butter. This technique is called butter base. And again, I'll go through the instructions with you. Lean the pan towards you and create a pool with the butter and then distribute it onto your meat. So now it is completely done. You wanna remove it off the heat and cover it with aluminum foil in whatever pan that you choose. Now we are going to create the wine sauce. Leave the butter in the pan, don't rinse the pan out. Add about a fourth cup of red onion and then you're going to deglaze the pan with your choice of red wine. I used about a fourth a cup but you wanna gradually add it and you wanna turn it into a sauce. And then you're gonna add one tablespoon of squeezed garlic. You can use fresh garlic. I do not recommend that you use minced garlic. So now you want to make sure it is reduced and take it off of the heat and it has created itself a sauce. So now we are going to create the butter poached green beans. This is just green beans cooked in a little bit more butter than you normally would. So you saw me drop the butter in the pan, add the green beans, and now I am seasoning it with just salt and pepper. Those are the only two seasonings that I used. Give it a quick toss and let the butter soak into the green beans and you are completely done. Now we begin to plate the food first i created a mountain with the whipped garlic potatoes i'll link the video for that as well below and then i started to build the lamb chops so you do want to create like a cage with the lamb chops i use three because i know two for a lot of people is not enough so i used three and then i went ahead and created another little cage with the green beans you can plate this however you want but this is the way that i like to, to plate mine and last but not least, you want to drizzle your wine sauce on your lamb chop. So the way that I did mine is I started from the top and I let it run down. Then you just want to take some of the onions and put it around the plate. You know, make it look a little pretty. But this technique for the wine sauce is for the lamb chops. Most people use zip sauce. I have a video coming soon on that as well. But for the wine sauce... Just keep in mind, red meat, red wine. That's the best way that I can put it for you. So changing this to a zip sauce, you will substitute the red wine for Dijon mustard and you will add two extra tablespoons of butter. So right here, you see me cleaning up the plate a little bit because it can get a little bit messy. Just clean up the dots just to make it, you know, look presentable. And then you are all the way done. So let me know how y'all like this video and I will see you in my next video.